It's national meets regional. Welcome to Sidewalks Entertainment, the long-running celebrity, music, and art series. Join us now for an exciting new path to celebrity interviews, music, rising talents, and much, much more. Hi, it's me, Josh, and this is my puppy, Blue. Oh, we can't wait to play Blue's Clues with you. Next guests are bringing back an iconic beloved Blue puppy to Nickelodeon in a remake of the interactive animation Blue's Clues and You. We have the original creator of the award-winning Blue's Clues, Angela Santomero, with us, along with a talented actor and new host of Blue's Clues, Blue's Clues and You, Josh Dela Cruz. Thank you so much for joining us, you guys. Thank you for having us. Yeah, yeah we're so, uh, first off, I am so excited that you are bringing back the remake of Blue Clues because I remember watching this with my niece who's now entering college and now I'm a mom and I have a daughter who can watch this. <laughs> no, I feel so old. No. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, no, it makes me cry, right? It's a, it's our, it's a beloved, right. beloved show. So we're thrilled to be bringing it back. I know, Angela, actually, I wanted to start with you because for those who aren't familiar with Blue's Clues, if they haven't seen it, they're under a rock, but <laughs> can you share a little about uh, this exciting animation and maybe kind of how it got started? Sure, sure. Um, you know, the truth is we really wanted to change the way preschoolers watch TV. We wanted to include them in the show. We wanted kids to play along. And so we had this idea to have an animated world with a live action host to be able to talk directly to kids and then have an animated puppy or sidekick who could actually play the games and jump inside games or skidoo into another world or have these other fantastical moments to it. And the whole reason, the whole point of view was to do almost a game show so that the kids yeah. were learning while they were playing and practicing skills where they didn't even know it. So the idea of, you know, matching and sorting and, you know, the, the order of the planets and the solar system and the names of the planets and all of those kinds of things were all to get them to be actively participating in the show and learning. Wow, I know, and it's a super interactive show and we love it over here. And I actually wanted to ask you, Angela, too, I mean, before you got into this, how did you even get into the world of animation? Was this something that you always wanted to get into? You know, I am a, I'm a research geek, so I have a child development background, and so I'm about the kids, and so I, I'm a writer, so I was writing what the point of view and the vision could be, but we wanted something with my co-creator, Tracy Page Johnson, that looked different. And the idea of doing having a live action person that could connect to the home own viewer, but live in this animated world was so exciting and fantastical to me that we just learned as we went in terms of understanding the kind of animation that we could do and what it could look like. And of course, now with Blue's Clues and You, we're able to take advantage of the innovations in animation and to be able to embrace Blue as a CG character and Magenta as a CG character and kind of move the yeah. camera a little bit more and, and immerse you into that world even more. Yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah, and then I'm wondering, actually, um, obviously, it's been a, a, a while. What actually made you want to come back and bring it back? Because were you kind of on the fence? Or were you like, should I bring them back? <laughs> you know, Nickelodeon, of course, is the, um, and Sarah Landy specifically, like, really championed to, to get it back. And I think the idea that we would ask ourselves, like, why now? Like, why this show? Why now? We really wanted to make sure it wasn't a parody, like an SNL show. Like, yeah. We wanted to make sure that if we were gonna do it, we were really gonna yeah. elevate it, right? And find the right person to step into the yes. shoes of Steve and Joe, which, you know, you definitely, Josh, is 100% that right person. And then to also yeah. make sure we amplify and elevate like that fine line between nostalgia um, and then also what's new for kids now, right? And so, yeah, the time right. was right. Like all of our fans are grown up now. Like yeah. they all want to know. <laughs> I know. Well, I mean, speaking of Josh, how did you even find the new host, Josh? Josh, how did you meet Angela? <laughs> uh, I have, uh, I'm it very, funny. very we met fortunate. It, we met at like yeah. a party. And we just met like, at a party. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was doing Aladdin uh, on Broadway at the time, and um, I, I had been with the show for a while, and I loved my job. I loved the people that I was working with. I loved the show, um, but I still found myself wanting more. I wanted, uh, I wanted a space where I could use the talents and skills that I've acquired along my journey and uh, use them to... Uh, help someone um, and so my agents my amazing agents at headline uh, they sent me this uh, audition and I opened it up and I, I was like oh blues clues <laughs> I never really thought about that 
And I, I was, you know, uh, looking at uh, looking at the sides, and my my family at at Aladdin, they were helping me with sides, and then we started talking and laughing and reminiscing about, oh, remember when Steve did this? Oh, and when Joe came in, and and we would yeah. sing the mail song. It was just, and and it was at that point that I realized, oh wow, this is a huge part of my my identity and and my my friends and my peers their identity. And I used to watch the show with my little sister. Uh, so, oh my god! Yeah, so that's how I came in contact with the show because I wasn't the demographic Angela was targeting, uh, Angela and Tracy. Yeah. Uh, so. I re recognized how important it was in my life and realized how important it was in everyone else's life that I had been talking to about how empowering it is, about how not only to ha have your voice be heard, but also to be silly and to make mistakes, but learn in the process and have fun. So yeah. it was never something that was really on my radar until the audition came. I went to the audition and I realized, oh, this is that thing that you were looking for. You know, the, where you can help someone uh, using the skills that you have. And so after every audition and after every callback, I, I was just like, ooh, you know, I'm trying to stay calm, <laughs> trying not to get too excited about being like, oh, I really, really want this job. And when I found out that I got it, I, you know, I, I sing to myself every day just because I'm so happy on set to be working with amazing people and the trickle down of just such amazing creators with the kid always first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's so funny. You had to actually work at it to get the role. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, speaking of host Josh, uh, we heard that the original host Stephen Job, uh, Josh, I'm uh, sorry, Stephen Joe might be making a cameo appearance. Yeah. Is this true? Yeah. So they they're, they 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 come in and they pass the torch to me. They teach me how to play Blues Clues, which is an amazing way to start off this new generation of kids who've maybe never have played Blues Clues before, and so they get to yeah. learn with me. Um, and they are uh, Steve and uh, Donovan Patton, who plays Joe, are uh, exactly like they are in, on, <laughs> on the show, which is to say, as soon as they open their mouth, you feel like you're important. You feel, uh, y you know, that you're funny, that we have the same uh, sense of humor. We, wa we love the same movies and uh, we get along ridiculously well. So we did become a little family unit within uh, wow. within the show. And so it's it is, really it is cool. such a family. Steve has been writing, yeah. Steve's been directing, yeah. Donovan's actually been what? directing. And one of my favorite moments was during the one of the auditions was when um, oh Steve surprised Josh <laughs> and came out from behind the curtain and I thought Josh's head was going to blow. Okay, so <laughs> like, so no funny. way. Yeah, we, we, uh, during the audition, uh, during the screen test, there were drapes up uh, for sound like, and uh, for light. <laughs> yeah, so like, like Oz. And I knew there were people back there. I just just didn't know who was back there. Um, and so That's I was hilarious. working with the director and he, he goes, yeah, do this, this and this, you know, this is good. Oh, and Steve, do you have anything for Josh? And then emerging <laughs> from the curtain is Steve. And I was like, oh, Steve, Steve, Steve. Steve, Steve, <laughs> Steve! Oh my God! And he was uh, like, I need a minute. I was like, it was it was crazy because I didn't expect him to be there. And what I also yeah. didn't expect was when he opened his mouth, he has such depth to his voice that uh, uh, that I was. It, it was like, you know. You were transported I, I was back. transported back. <laughs> you were and transported. At the same time, I, I, he empowered me. He made me feel like I was there. I was important. That I was meant to be there, uh, just like in the show. And uh, yeah. you know, and that's it, amazing. It, it was incredible. Yeah. But he snuck well, up you know, on that... me. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be doing it a lot more. It sounds like. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Hello. Oh. It's Shovel and Pail. And Mr. Salt and Mrs. Pepper. All right. Um, everyone. Uh, yep, a little this way. Okay, now we are totally ready for this picture. Everyone, smile. All right, you ready? Take the picture. <laughs> well, Josh, um, I know this is kind of a really big role for you. This is an exciting role, but I wanted to actually b uh, briefly touch on, you know, that you've been busy doing TV roles and theater. Can you tell us a little bit about maybe some of the other things that you've been working on? Yeah, so um, when I, I, I first got into theater because my older sister said it was a way to... Uh, get to know people uh, when I got into high school. So I joined the high school musical, but becoming an actor never really came uh, into focus until 
maybe senior year of high school, which is pretty late in, in terms of like when a kid decides what to go to school for. Um, yeah. <laughs> for me, it was always about communicating with, with people. Uh, uh, you know, I had a hard, I had a really difficult time uh, reading out loud when I was younger. And so theater helped me manage that and helped me, helped me do it now for a living, you know. Um, oh, wow. So, I was fortunate enough to be in theater. I, I worked on um, an amazing show at the Public Theater, uh, David Burns' Here, Here Lies Love, which was an all, an all Filipino cast uh, um, about the history of the Philippines and the Marcos regime. And that was incredibly inspiring for me as a, as a Filipino American, you know, coming from theater, uh, not really knowing what my representation would be like when I got out into the real world. You know, would I be playing a caricature of a stereotype? Uh, would I be playing something with depth? And would I, have, would I be proud of the work that I'm putting out? Um, yeah. And time and time again, you know, in this, with, as time goes on, it's getting better. With Here Lies Love, with Aladdin, you know, they cast me because of me, not because it was crucial for the role, like, to be a bit. And I think with yeah. Blue's Clues, it, it, it really uh, filled me with a, a lot of hope um, that, yeah. you know, anything is possible. I never thought that I would ever work on uh, film and television. Um, I was fortunate enough to be like on an episode of Bull, and then I had a really uh, fun time working as a as a corpse on uh, uh, on another show. Um, yeah. But growing up, I never saw myself uh, on television in a way that connected with me. And so to work on Blue's Clues as Josh, who also happens to be Filipino American. Um, Yay. <laughs> it's it's like a an also happens to be as opposed to he needs to be, um, kind of opens up the door for anyone else, and I encourage anyone who's watching or who knows about the show that just because and you don't see yourself represented in whatever it is, film, TV, uh, in. Um, entertainment or whatever it is doesn't mean that you can't be that person that opens the door if you work hard you remain kind and whenever that opportunity does arrive uh you're you're ready to meet it Ooh, you gave me the chance um, so yeah no, so, so thank you angela beautiful. and you know yeah. i'm so excited to be part of this show well thank you so much to you josh and angela my daughter is filipino american oh. mexican so i'm so excited that you're on the show josh oh, and angela thank, thank you. you so much for bringing it back okay. and beautiful message Yes, thank you. Much continued success. I wish we could talk more about the show, but it was so ha I'm so honored to have you all here. So thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. For more full-length celebrity interviews, visit SidewalksTV.com.